what are the four things to get your YouTube channel or small business started? If this sounds like something that interests you, stick around. Hi, I am Brandon, and I have started a new series of videos with a variety of subject matters and tips and just general talk and uh, things that I think might be beneficial to you. These talks and tips with Brandon will be aired every Sunday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We also do a variety of outdoor activities like fishing, hiking, biking, camping, just different, just things outdoors. Because that's primarily what this channel is. This is just a new series here that I'm going to start, or I have started. If you missed the first one, look down in the description and there'll be a link to it. Oh, hey, speaking of variety, do you like music? Are you a creator of some sort? Don't miss next Sundays because we're going to talk about that. Now, let's jump into this episode. All right, I have, I've written kind of a script to follow, basically, and that is one of the things that I suggest doing, and, and so do the big YouTubers, because that's where I got the idea from. Let's face it, I didn't just think about it myself. So I'm going to be kind of reading this and talking to you all along, and because I'm not going to be able to remember everything that I wrote, and I want to be sure to convey everything that I wrote to you. So, with that being said, let's get started. Right, today we are going to talk about planting your seeds so you may reap the harvest tomorrow. Not literally a garden, but your YouTube channel, business, relationship, or whatever else you are wanting to achieve. If you are hungry and desire to share your story with the world, the only way to do this is to tell your story. Telling your story or sharing your experiences is much like planting your garden. Without planting the seeds, the garden will not grow. Without telling your story, nobody's going to hear it. Uh, follow me here. Don't think literally. Think metaphorically. Um, this is figuratively speaking. And keep an open mind. The first step to decide what variety of plants you wish to grow. That's the first step. Decide what kind of channel you want, what kind of business you want, what kind of relationship do you want, what are you looking for? Decide that first. And acquire those seeds. Get those seeds going. Get them in your possession. And then plant those seeds. I mean, start creating. Tend to those seeds by sprinkling them with water. However, don't depend on just one seed. Don't make one video and plan and think that it's going to just poof, flourish into a Garden of Eden because it's not going to happen. Not generally. Yeah. So basically, plant a lot of seeds, create a lot of different types of videos. Uh, not just one. With the proper nurturing and some luck, your seeds will turn into small plants. Those small plants, if cared for, will grow and thrive to become large fruitful plants. Everyone who likes the food that the plant produces will harvest that food. In other words, if they like what you planted and what you're growing, what you're sharing, they're going to start partaking in it, watching it, feeding off of it. Uh, gain value by absorbing the benefits and sharing that food with others. That's what they're going to do. That's the intention anyway. <laughs> you see, growing a YouTube channel or a small business, a friendship, a bond of some sort, and many other things all depend on the first couple of steps. Those being, decide what kind of plant you want to grow, what kind of business or YouTube channel you want to grow. 
then plant those seeds, create those videos, strategies, uh, water and feed those seeds, meaning research. You can't make a video on something you don't know anything about. So research it. And, and do keyword research. YouTube depends on, not strictly keywords, but they use keywords for their searches. Um, it's just like Google. Matter of fact, it's owned by Google. Second largest search engine in the world is YouTube. <laughs> In case you didn't know that already, there's an extra tip. <laughs> uh, but don't stop there. Keep tending to those plants in whatever way you can. Share pictures or talk about them. Basically get the word out. Post it on your social media, your Facebook. If you have Twitter or uh, what's that, uh, Instagram, share it on there. I personally don't do Twitter. I don't know much anything about it and I know very little about Instagram. I do have an Instagram but I don't do much with it. But you, you can do, uh, make you a web page. That I do know a little bit about and if that's something you're interested in let me know and I'll try to help you there. With some sort of luck you will have a successful garden, meaning a YouTube channel, business, or whatever else you're wanting to share. I am still planting my seeds. I do have a small plant, you know, I do have some small videos. I am a, I am a small channel, which all you have to do is look at the subscriber count, and you can see that. I think the last time I looked at it, it was only 255. But, I have a general idea on how to get this started. You know, um, I was thinking about something the other day and a person that doesn't have any legs can't dance. I mean, in, in a way that we think of dancing, standing up and doing the jitterbug or whatever. But that does not mean they do not know how to dance. You don't have to be physically able or a big YouTuber to know how to, a YouTube channel to know how to make a YouTube channel grow. But you do have to have an ideal on how to get that started. And by planting your seeds and watering them and, and things like that, that's how you get it started. And that's where I'm at. And if that's where you're at, maybe we can help each other. I don't know. Um, see, I'm, I'm still planting my seeds, and I have a few small plants. So my garden is not flourishing yet. But, truly, but I truly believe that without these first few steps I am taking, you cannot grow a garden. The key word is get started. Get started today. If it's a business, if it's a YouTube channel, if it's a relationship of some sort, you can't develop any of that by just sitting there and doing nothing. Get out there and create. Use your imagination. Whatever it is, share your knowledge. People naturally seek knowledge. It may be something totally off the wall, like how to plug in a fan. <laughs> but, you know, they seek knowledge. I had a job not long ago, and uh, I grew up, you know, my dad shaved, and he would take the razor out and let me lather up and shave. With, with no razor blade, of course. He'd take back then. The, the it was flat like this, but they opened up, and you had a flat blade in there, and you closed it back down. But I learned to uh, shave like that as a little kid. Well, in my previous employment, I had a uh, patient who was, you know, I, I don't know how old he was. 
late 20s, early 30s, they really didn't know how to shave. You know, something that we think is just natural. I mean, you should just know how to do it, like tying your shoes. You had to learn how to do that. Unfortunately, there has been some people that's been left behind on the knowledge base. And even the simple things are worth sharing. So if you have an idea about something, share it. Somebody might find it useful and you might could have helped them. So what is your key or idea on how to become successful here on YouTube or whatever else it is? Uh, do you have any tips on getting things going on here on YouTube or your small business or whatever? If so, be sure to leave those tips down there in the bottom and share those with all of us. I would like to know, and I'm sure there's other people that would like to know. Anyway, if you found this at least somewhat useful, please be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and share this video with others. And don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified of any new content that's coming out. And uh, I believe that's about it for today. But there will be more coming. So like I said, if you don't want to miss it, subscribe, like, and share. Hey, y'all keep on keeping on. We'll see y'all down the road. Bye.